and next is uh, defining the content so content is the stuff okay we have seen this so next is preparing the structure so uh, detailed uh, uh, <coughs> the detailed structure must be uh, must have uh, information about all the steps along with the timeline of the future okay so you would have uh, you would have seen uh, seen that uh, some of the films some of the hollywood films they would have tell you the predefined dates okay so in this date we, uh, we will tentatively release okay in this in this date the uh, uh, in this uh, the post production uh, unit will complete their complete their phase okay so like that they will be following the steps or predefined uh, dates so that uh, on particular time they will be finishing the project so that's the uh, that's the that is the preparing the structure phase okay so they will be providing the timeline so that in that particular timeline they will be finishing the entire project so next is production so they will be produ producing the content either to capture video or to type the content or to uh, <clears throat> do the content preparation everything will be done in this production phase and the last uh, thing is uh, testing okay so the ne next is, uh, step is testing the product so if you are uh, if you are developing a game then they will be uh, they will be calling some uh, players and they will be providing the game to them and they will be testing the game where where there is uh, flaws or where there is mistakes so this mistake can be rectified before uh, launching the product so that is testing phase so next uh, the last thing is documentation so documentation is the process of uh, uh, writing all the steps are uh, writing all the process that are involved in creating the, the whole project starting from the starting date till till the launching of the launching of the product will be uh, will be written as a text and uh, stored it in a documentation format so next is delivering the multimedia product so when the product is uh, completely developed then the uh, product will be released in the online or in the CDs or it will be available in the uh, available to the user or it will be available to the uh, person who is going to uh, use it okay so that is the de delivering the multimedia product so the last topic is multimedia production team so these are all the team members that are go that are going to uh, involve that are involved in the production uh, of the uh, content okay so first one is production manager manager is the person who is uh, managing the managing all the process in the production team so next is content specialist so the, he will be writing the content okay and uh, he, he is responsible for the copyright information and whatever the data that has to be shown in the screen everything will be decided by this content specialist next is script writer if a video or film involved in the multimedia then the script writer will write the screenplay of the uh, scenes okay next is text editor so this is like lyricist okay so the dialogues or lyrics that are used in the content will be uh, produced by this text editor so this is the diagram next multimedia architect so what are all the uh, articles or what are all the properties that are that has to be shown in the uh, videos or content will be described by this person uh, computer architect uh, computer graphics architect so this is the person who will be using this uh, uh, picture editing software or uh, 2d animation 3d animation uh, what are all the logos uh, or what are all the production companies everything will be decided by this computer architect next audio video uh, specialist so this person is uh, specialist of uh, dealing with uh, digitalization video adding multimedia production 
recording sound effects digitalization everything will be done by this person next is computer programmer if you are uh, if you are dealing with website developing then this computer program will be developing the entire uh, web page okay next is webmaster so it's like um, admin administrator to the uh, website so if you are creating web uh, if you are if you are producing web content then this uh, webmaster will do the uh, web content okay so it, uh, webmaster will be the administrator of the whole uh, project okay next to the production manager so next is multimedia on the internet so you all know so multimedia has so many faces like uh, social media uh, tv uh, radio newspaper so these are all the different types of multimedia so in the internet you can see that uh, facebook uh, twitter and these are all the multimedia so more than 55 million customers are using this internet radio video and even facebook twitter everything over the internet so next is application of uh, multimedia so it is used in education as you know we are using the multimedia to teach content next is entertainment so next is business system medical services public places okay to describe the public places they will be providing you the blog vlog v uh, blog means written text vlog means video uh, content okay so railway station this uh, uh, this hotels tourist spot they will be visiting and they take the picture of it and post it in the internet so that when other persons go to that location they can enjoy the uh, facilities okay so that's the reason why they are using this uh, public and places public places so next is libraries libraries information centers and archives so in so many in so many other countries developed countries they'll be having a small booth like structure okay it's it will be like a telephone booth inside that you can see a small touch screen monitor will be there so if you want to if you are confused in where to go then you can go to that uh, uh, information center and uh, search for the place uh, and uh, what are all the facilities available there everything can be seen here okay so that is known as multimedia kioski okay so this is a information center which is freely available for everyone in the public so next is web uh, webcast and web conference okay video conferencing so nowadays you can see that uh, they are uh, the, so many people are working from home so uh, if the team members wants to meet then they will be using this webcasting or video conferencing to participate in the meeting next is uh, user orient orientation program so if the user who is going to use the application or game or the service that are provided on the on internet uh, he is not having a department education then the support team will help them will be helping them they'll be giving you the support how to use the system how to give data into the system or how to get retrieve the data from the system everything will be uh, will be educated by the support team so this support team will be guiding you how to use the system so this is user orientation program so in house production of uh, multimedia resources and e publishing so in in the same roof okay in the same office they'll be doing all the works like uh, uh creating publishing and uh, rendering everything will be done in a single place itself okay so that that place is known as in house production of multimedia so all the resources will be available there all the information that you need related to the project will be available there so this is done by using this in house production so next is digital media library so this is uh, this is like your digital library okay so in old days you will be going to the library and seeing the uh, books and open it and read it but nowadays digital library is available there so every book that you want to read will be available in the digital format uh, by using the digital subscription you can access this uh, digital books and uh, you can read 
the example for this is audible amazon audible is an app that is that converts so many uh, books as a uh, audio audio file format okay so one person will be reading the uh, text in the book and it will be stored as an audio file so if you want to open the book and then and then the person speech will be delivered to you so this is a digital format of the uh book of a book so this is digital multimedia library so with this we'll finish the class we'll see the rest of the things in the next class thank you students